Hello beautiful people, it's Andrea Fawkes. Welcome to Saturday in the Chariot. I'm in Cornwall. I just wait for a couple of you to join me. Um, I think it's the 16th or the 17th of October. I'm never really sure the date. Um, anyway, hi Terry, thanks for joining me. It's Saturday in Cornwall during the Ovid test. Um, I've called this video the Ovid test because I just sat in a cafe, my favourite place actually in Cornwall, and I've purposely stayed away from it because I thought they might really be doing the kind of wanting to do the government government guidelines big time, which they were. And um, hi everybody. And I sat outside in the rain, but they have burners overhead, so I hadn't even been inside. And, um, you know, it's as we know, it's visually distressing to even see the cute little waitresses wearing these little face nappies. And, um, you know, I'm so over this thing. And then they came with a little booklet to ask me my name and details. And in the past, I've just given dodgy ones. But do you know what? I just thought, no, because I actually saw yesterday and I made the post um, that even when you download that app, it says you don't need to do this. You don't need to give your details. Um so why are we even going along with this farce? I'm not doing the app and why would I even bother to give any details, let alone any false ones, if we don't actually have to give any? And quite frankly, when you sat in an outdoor cafe, I haven't even been inside, I haven't been near anybody, and the waitress that served me had a muzzle over her face. So really, I don't need to give my details under any Data Protection Act. You know, we've worked really hard to keep our details private, so why should we give our details? And then some new customers came, an older lady, and they all were muzzled up. And she, she, desperate, you know, desperate to talk to a stranger. You know, most people are. I talk to some other people. Everyone's desperate to interact, and they're all tired of it. So this lady takes her little face nappy off. And I said, oh, darling, you don't need to wear that. You could, you know, I keep showing these to everyone, you know. I said, you could get one of these. Now, you don't even need these. I keep saying the same thing. You don't need a hidden disabilities badge. And you can make your own. You can download a picture from the government's website on your beloved government's website. You know, I keep saying the same thing. You can don't download a thing for your phone or you can print one off and make your own. You don't need to buy these ones. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm always going on about data um, for my phone. I've had to just turn my car on to keep my phone charged up so apologies for that so going back to this so I tell the lady she's an older lady but this just shows you I want to share this story to just show how loopy loo it is and she said oh, where do you get those from so I say you just go onto the government website and you can actually see that you can download an, a, a photo or an app for your phone not that an older lady's necessarily going to want to do that or you can buy one of these for free um you know they're one pound fifty but this is the thing it's like she said well I'm so confused I have a niece who's got asthma and she she isn't wearing a mask because she's got asthma and then I know another friend who's wearing a mask because she has got asthma so I'm really confused and this is the thing you know, this is the thing about this whole thing, that it's an IQ test. It's basically an IQ test. It's to create chaos. You know, the, all this mask business is just distraction from the bigger story. You know, the whole mask thing is just to take your mind off what's really going on, you know, which is the global reset, which... Hold on one second. I may even have this book at hand. Um... Wait one second, if I have got it at hand, I might not because I lent it to somebody and they just gave it me back. Hold on one second, let's have a little root to see if I can see it. I'm not sure if I can just now. Apologies for looking for it and not actually seeing it. I've got my car packed to go home. Sorry, I'm losing you all. Hold on one second, I'm back. Can you see me? Oh, I'm back. Hi. So, Anyway, you know, as the walls get more and more ridiculous, this is, on a spiritual level, just an IQ test. Remember, this is to sort the wheat from the chaff, from the compliant Obedia Ovid, which, remember, COVID Ovid, Ovid means sheep, um, 
I think it's in Latin. So it's just a test. You know, most of you watching me are completely aware of this. But what I would say, you know, you see me speak out in Truro. What I would say is please, please do not be intimidated to speak to your family and friends you know it's time to start really posting this stuff if you haven't posted things that you know help your family yet it's really time to start doing it, it may not work face to face trying to inform them but if they follow you on facebook and you haven't blocked them yet <laughs> it might be time to start sharing you know admittedly not everyone's going to awaken and what reality they go into I'm not really sure and it, you know it does highlight people who are very stubborn in their belief systems and they they believe everything they're told and they're very rigid in their beliefs and you know we usually see that people are in that reality for a reason you know um has it served them yes it probably has maybe they got quite a well-paid job and you know they have a a well-paid obedient little job but where this planet is going is outside of that reality now you know we're awakening and I've played down the level that spirituality has been involved in what's going on and the truth of it is you know we're fighting not against humans we're you know this whole battle is being played out against interdimensional beings that are outside of visible sight that have been controlling certain humans on this planet and we're fighting over stargate portals and um, that's why certain areas are getting locked down more than others on top of that we've put more um EMF frequencies there, maybe satellites, 5G, smart meters. I've talked about this quite a lot. But why have we locked those particular areas down? You know, the truth of this is on a spiritual level, we've got to accept there are beings here from many different planets, star systems. You know, you might find that wee 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 if you don't really follow what I do for a living. Um, but I spent 20 years helping people release interdimensional entities woven through their consciousness as we've gone into past lives inner child healing ancestral timeline healing and these interdimensional entities weave behind that consciousness and those of you who I've worked with and help you release these dark entities know that your life and your physical well-being is so much improved once you drop into that level of consciousness and these beings come to the surface and we release this trauma and these beings from the beginning of time and you know sadly when I worked on television even though I did do spirit releasement and I don't even agree with there is a foundation called the spirit releasement foundation I don't even necessarily agree with how they do spirit releasement when I learned how to do spirit releasement, it was on a very fluffy level, but it was from a great book by Dr. I think it was Dr. William Baldwin, who wrote a book on spirit releasement and dealing with interdimensional entities, which is kind of what we're dealing with now. This is this is dealing with interdimensional entities. Um, and until you grasp the depth of what is really going on, going back to the creator gods, Enki, Enil, Ninhasag, Gilgamesh, Marduk, you know, whether these were actual physical beings or whether they were thought forms created and manifested into form is debatable, but they have manifested into a consciousness that has operated, you know, through humans. And there are dark portals on this planet and there are consciousness whether they have a physical body is debatable um, there are beings that once you go into a level of emotion which is fear and anxiety and trauma you bring those beings into your consciousness and then they hijack your consciousness so we have these multi-dimensional lineages that hold those consciousnesses but we have to believe that the Shulman frequency, the resonance on, on the planet is changing. And yes, they're artificially trying to hold the planet in a certain frequency, even though the frequency is increasing. 
I don't think they're going to be able to get away with it. And I've said this time and time again, they're just trying to cause as much trouble, as much confusion on the planet as they can before they leave. So this is why I said it's an over test. It's an over test to see are you a sheep or are you actually intuitive multi-dimensional being who can think for yourself increase your vibration why do you think all the pictures of these ancient beings that we call um what do we call them saints i hate that word but we depict them with glowing auras um it's that their intelligence, their emotional intelligence was higher than other people's maybe. And they lived in their heart. They had compassion and kindness for humanity. And this is where it's about, you know, it's about being free thinking, thinking for yourself, taking responsibility for yourself, not being compliant to people who do not have your best interests at heart. In ancient times, leaders would be picked by those who had the highest vibration amongst your community, you know, um, and somehow Ooh, I'm coming back. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm back. I'm back. Um, God. The beings that are controlling and we put in positions of authority and power are not people who necessarily have your best interests at heart. These are corrupt people who don't have your best interests at heart. You know, they're in it for the money and the status and the power. So this is what the shift of ages is about. It's about... Um, you know, going into your heart, staying in your heart, doing your emotional inner journey work, trawling through all this fear. It's not about programming positivity on top of negativity, which is what I talk about in the work that I do. You know, many people who are just doing hypnotherapy um, just put a pos positive program on top of a negative one. That's what NLP does as well. Um, you're just putting a positive program under the negative program, but it's a bit like having an open wound and you cut your, your hands open and you don't bother taking the gravel out and you just sew it up. Eventually that gravel that you've left in your open wound and sewed up is going to start to irritate under your skin. And that's what's happening with our consciousness now. No matter how much positivity we've tried to put on top of the negativity, unless we go into our inner selves now and turf out this backlog and create a, a way in our physical body and our mental body that we come into alignment with a higher vibration of joy and peace and being that doesn't mean we disassociate to this planet and what's going on it's just that we clear out the backlog from the eons of time of what's happened to us on this planet so we rise in frequency and so we trawl through the womb trauma the past lives the inner child we weave between all that to find if there's any entities the soul light language helps increase it, it because sound is a healing frequency it opens um, DNA codings with inside you and you know I can play this down to a uh, 3d level but it's not going to help people we need to realize that there's been galactic wars that took place on this planet and the history that you've been told was by the people who wanted to keep you in a lower frequency but if we do alternative research we will see that the history we've been told is not the truth and so we have to empower ourselves and it's the willingness within ourselves to release a belief system. You know, you may have made a good living out of um, 3D reality, but honestly, 3D reality is crumbling. You know, the towers of Babylon are, are, are falling and we're going to be rebuilding on a much higher frequency. Now, you can hold on to the old world if you want, but it's going to get more and more challenging if you hold on to that world. So the more inner alchemy we do on ourselves, the higher our frequency goes. So we heal the trauma and we claim those soul shards of ourselves you know, they've got fragmented through trauma. And when you're not in your body, you leave a vacancy for some other consciousness to take over. So when we reclaim those soul shards of ourselves, we increase our frequency and those 
beings that were hooking into you through lower consciousness and trauma cannot hold in your energy field anymore. So I just thought I'd share whatever came through at this point in time. If you're interested in my work, thank you for listening today. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down the comments. Thanks for staying with me, even though I've dropped my phone and goodness knows what. Um, let's have a look and see if anyone... Thank you. People always say things like, oh, I like the cobbles on the street or I like your jumper. Thank you. Um, uh, gosh, will it ever end in our lifetime? It ends in your own personal reality. It, it's like you can see the chaos, but you rise your frequency beyond the chaos um if that makes sense like i can watch the 3d playing out and i can choose to interact in it or not interact in it and still maintain my own frequency and people are still lovely like the girl was super lovely when i showed her my phone just now i showed her the nhs picture of the app which i don't have on my phone but i showed her a picture of it that says you do not need to do this you cannot you don't you um if you don't download the app and you don't want to do the qr code um no business has the right to deny you access to that building so it's important that we show people this information this is what i'm saying um so Yes, it will end. It will end when you decide that it's going to end. You can observe it, but you don't have to absorb it. So it's not allowing it to um, decrease your frequency anymore and rise above it. Um, and so we're navigating our way through this matrix and out the other side. And as more and more people do that, um, as more and more people say, oh, I'm not playing this game anymore, you know, it's like last night I looked at a live stream of Streets of London and there were young people out going to bars and drinking and it all looked so fun and merriment. But the comments online were people like, this is disgusting, this is terrible, these people are going to be so sad when their families are ill. And it's just blackmail because these people don't understand the basics of... Um, virology even they don't even understand that you can't catch a virus and they're not prepared to do the alternative research of the doctors who are speaking out because they're only listening to the people who are paid by pharmaceutical um medicine and allopathic medicine which is you know corrupt at the best you know so this is the thing we have to educate ourselves you know all, we have never ever been exposed to so much information that it's our free will which information we choose to believe information that spirals you downward into disempowerment or information that spirals you upward into higher vibration and you know Recently, I've had a lot of people saying to me, you know, well, my treatment's been cancelled, this and that. You know, should I do this? Should I do that? Well, you've got to decide what you do. I know that I've worked for 20 years healing myself and assisting other souls to heal their emotional trauma. And the byproduct of healing your emotional trauma is that your frequency will increase. And if your frequency increases and your body turns alkaline, you're going to heal. That's the byproduct of what actually happens. And you come into alignment with your authentic soul self. So it's a process. So um, thanks for listening today. <laughs> I just, you know, sometimes I feel like, right, I have to explain things say things it's people's free will whether they choose to do something about that or not if you're interested in the work I do please go to my website which is andreafaux.com I've been doing past life regression inner child healing ancestral timeline healing spirit releasement speaking light language codes for 20 years that's just in this lifetime I've been doing this for many lifetimes on many different planets as well and this is the thing, you know, you either play down the level of knowledge you have or you go, you know what, I've nothing to lose. I may as well just tell the truth as I know it to be. And if people think it's too wooey-wooey for them, then they're not ready for that level of knowledge. But we have to be true to our own selves on our own vibration. So have a beautiful day. Thank you for listening. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Blessings from Cornwall as well. Bye.